quick disclaimer this theory is solely focused on the location of the dlc and its implications so mostly i've been referring the gameplay trailer more the theory is in general applicable irrespective of the story trailer so enjoy the video long before the dlc trailer dropped whole community was thinking that the dlc will take place in a sort of a spirit world but it might not be the case the spirit world where you touch the withered arm and you get teleported this idea came from previous souls title the dlc might not take place in a spirit realm or a place beyond time and space it was always been here it is part of the lands between we know and it is a physical location the speculation is that the dlc the shadow realm is quite literally the shadow of the earth tree now let's begin with the main focus of the video which is the divine towers divine towers are majestic ancient structure with a unique architecture which you won't find anywhere in the lands between the divine towers serves only one purpose which is activate the great rune of that respective demigod after that they are pretty much non functional you can't enter the divine towers it, it is closed until you have the great rune of that specific divine tower there are six divine towers spread across the lands between one is in limgrave near stormville castle one is in kaled another one is in lernia Aldous Plateau has two of them, East Divine Tower and West Divine Tower, and one in middle of nowhere, isolated Divine Tower. All six of them are owned by their respective demigods and have their own respective two fingers. About the functionality of Divine Towers, they might have more purpose than just activating the Great Ruins. They might not be out of order and are still fulfilling their purpose. And what is their true purpose let us expand more on divine towers all six divine towers are in a hexagon formation and we can see that in the map the formation by divine towers surrounding the sea in the middle of the lands between there is no point of interest in the sea until now the hexagon formation of divine towers was mentioned long before in the community's discussion and in this video we are going to expand on this speculation and we go completely deep dive why divine towers are in such a shape because the reality is divine towers are the points where the clothes of the shadow well are connected the sea is actually the place where the shadow realm exists the dlc is not in a spirit realm but a physical location hidden from the rest of the world another thing which adds into this theory is the sea level we can see a partition in the sea from mountain tops of the giants and kaled there's a massive drop in the sea level making it a barrier it is a mysterious detail is it intentional it's been here since the beginning of the game and it has simply no purpose the formation of divine tower and the drop in sea level these are the barriers keeping these the two worlds apart none can enter and no one can leave before we continue it will be really helpful if you subscribe to my channel help me to reach 1k subs thank you let's just continue with the theory the next point i want to cover is the shadow realm is the dumping ground for the golden order whoever or whomever disagrees or considered blasphemous to greater will are banished to this place of no return i already made a video where i've shown what are things that golden order hates and considered them as blasphemous these religion and culture which are banished from the lands between could return in the shadow of the earth tree dlc maybe we meet banished knights again well except except this one the divine towers holding the veil theory was brought after the trailer drop and i think it should get more attention and should be explored more that's why we are going deep in this specific side of story we are not going to cover 
who is in DLC, what will be in the DLC. Uh, these topics are already being heavily covered by, uh, by literally everyone in the community, on YouTube, everywhere. And I just want to focus on this aspect of theory, DLC theory. And I think this video will perfectly summarize it. Let's say we make a scenario where Shadow Realm is not hidden and is a part of Lands Between. What it looks like, uh, it's connected to the Altus Plateau and Mountain Tops of Giant, or could be extended towards Limgrave and Kaelid. The proof of this is the same vegetation we see in the DLC and it also in Altus Plateau. It feels like the DLC is a continuation of Altus Plateau because the Altus Plateau we know is weirdly cut off in an abrupt cliff. And if this is true, it also proves the Lindel's incomplete nature. The second half of Lindel internal city might lie in the Shadow Realm. Another proof is the similarity in mountaintops of the giant and Kaelid. Maybe long time ago, these two lands might have been connected. The reason is the giant corpse are found in both places, both in mountaintops of the giant and in Kaelid. And also the messed up wildlife, the mutated dogs and birds, both are in mountaintops of the giant and Kaelid. So, on my research on this topic, when I'm finding clues and some direction towards is this even possible, I actually found a post on Reddit. Some guy really made a convincing looking map for DLC and how it is connected to the lands between we know. To know more of this, I would like you to go through that Reddit post. I will put it in the description. Now this is the another segment of the speculation where I tell you the gods and demigods know all this shit. All of them are aware of the existence of Shadow Realm and the complete usage of the Shadow Realm. This might be true as the Divine Towers are owned by their respective demigods. Anything which has to be thrown away or being banished needs everyone's approval. All the demigods have seen and know what things are being banished and considered as blasphemous and the rigid system of Golden Order. And this includes Mesmer the Impaler as well. Not going to cover his arc in this video, but he might have done something really bad like the first burning of the Earth Tree. The one thing that all demigods also disagreed and decided to banish Mesmer the Impaler to the Shadow Realm. That's why Mesmer hates every single person. We are going back to the first burning of the Earth Tree in a little bit. Let me just complete this segment first. If Godric owns a Divine Tower, so did he use to participate with other demigods? Is he even qualified to partake in the decision? Another purpose the Shadow Realm fulfill is bringing the shadows to the lands between. Shadows like Malekith, Blyde or Sarosh given to the Imperians to serve them till they achieve their godhood. The shadows are given by the two fingers and the divine towers have two fingers. Like we might be onto something. Like it, it could be a scene where two fingers stands at the gateway of the shadow realm and pulls out the shadow from the shadow realm. All we have seen is one two fingers Oh, it's one two finger or one two fingers. I think it's one two fingers. All we have seen is one alive two fingers. And that one already lost his mind after the shattering. The DLC Earth Tree we have seen is actually the actual Earth Tree. It always been hidden from the world, not showing its true form. And the golden earth tree we see in the game is actually an illusion. A fake holy image created to hide its dirty deeds. We already have sense that we will experience all the crimes and atrocities committed by Queen Marika and the Greater Will. Which proves the intention of them hiding the actual face of the earth tree. Another addition to this is 
among two trees in the DLC. One is the actual earth tree and the other one is Godwin's death tree, growing and corrupting the earth tree and the lands between. It makes more sense as we have seen the corruption Godwin's corpse spreading in the roots of the earth tree. And simply there is no sign of degradation on the surface on the golden earth tree. It is very suspicious because it is corrupting and nobody is aware of that. The whole corruption was on the actual earth tree and what we have been seeing all the game is actually an illusory golden earth tree. Before we move on to the another topic, we would like to mention two things about this theory. Is if we look at all the great trees in lands between, like Halic tree and the other minor earth trees, they don't possess the golden looming nature of the earth tree we know. The true face is the one we have seen in the DLC. And second thing might be a stretch. Since the trailer was released, I have made the Shadow of the Earth Tree concept art as my wallpaper on my PC. Since then I have been looking, staring at this image like a complete lunatic. And what I have came up with this is we can see the golden aura of the golden earth tree. The one we already know behind the shadow realm earth tree. The actual one. Like they are superimposed. Like in this shot the actual earth tree is in the front of the golden earth tree. The plane of glowing canopy doesn't match the tree because it is of the golden illusory tree. That might be a stretch. I'm just putting out there. It is, it is for community. Just think about it. Before we wrap up this theory, here are some more observations regarding the divine towers. All divine towers have a unique atmosphere, a unique yellowish fog like they are completely different region. An independent region where the tower exists. All these six points of these divine towers, all these six points of entering different atmosphere gives an idea that in the middle section is where the new region lies. And if you think about the DLC map, it would perfectly fit in that sea. As Miyazaki said that the DLC is going to be size of a limb grave uh, open field. And the size fits like a missing jigsaw piece. Another theory which may sound insane. But if we look at one end of the cloth of the veil, this one is pretty high up compared to the other cloth. Amazingly, this divine tower, the East Altar's divine tower is way too high up compared to the other divine towers. The reason is it's pretty much in the mountain tops of the giant. This gives a sense that this cloth is connected to this tower and making this higher. I don't know, I might be crazy. I think I am, but it could be a viable theory. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. One last speculation. The existence of Shadow Realm might go beyond to the prehistoric times, before the Golden Order, before Artry, before the concept of Elden Ring. Because we are told that America came from the lands of shadows. Also, America is a new man, the same race of Nox of the Eternal Cities. It makes sense for her using deceptive and illusory ways to get her job done. Not really want to dive into this theory as it completely breaks the logic we have been building up in this entire video. Maybe we should cover it in a future video because there are a lot of this and that are left untouched. Like if Godric is allowed to partake in the Shadow Realm decisions, then what about Godifry? What has he done which deserve lifetime imprisonment? Why his ever jail is right next to the cliff? We are thinking the DLC is. Well, Godifry might be one of the most important characters in the DLC. There are a lot of things we have covered and a lot of things we still have missed or haven't even mentioned. But after all, this video was solely focused on Divine Towers. We have expanded on it and I think it is a complete viable theory. Some disapproval and might be there some another observation made which completely disproves my theory. But at least it is a start. Well, that's it for this insane theory video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it and also like this video and help me to reach 1k subs. 
it will be really helpful for my channel i hope you understand if this video really works out and it got a lot of attraction i will make more of this this is my first time doing something commentary so it's not my best i am still learning i'm still getting better so i hope you understand and thanks for watching